Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Augustus, and this is uh, an update video. Uh, I tried recording this before, uh, <laughs> and it did not go well. I ended up just rambling on insanely uh, without trying to get my point across. But I guess before I get into the update, let me just. This is my team. Uh, meanings are simple. You have a vile plume named Weed Joke, a. Uh, a square, oh, it's a war turtle now, named Sonetto, which is just a, it's, I don't know why I said what I said. it's just a generic name I tend to give starters if I can't think of one, Stallone the rock type, uh, he was a, uh, the, the Geodude, he's not a great player, Angier, which is, is, is a, that's a Kadabra, Angier being the, uh, what was it, the, one of the magicians from the Prestige, if you've ever seen that, great movie, uh, Garfield the Meow, because of course I do, and Harvey, uh, the you're a Pidgeo, a Pidgeotto, I think, right? Right, Pidgeotto. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, doing a bit of a challenge run since I've not played Pokemon in a very long time, in general, and I've not played this one in even longer. Yeah, so I'd like to cut it. Um, I'm basically catching the first Pokemon on each route that I run into. I'm not going full Nuzlocke, but I'm using the first Pokemon on each route I run into. I have to catch if, unless I already have it. And if I, uh, uh, blah, blah, if I already have it, then I get to catch a, the second or third or so on and so forth, um, until I run into a Pokemon that I don't have. If I miss it, then I'm fucked, essentially. But I'm not doing the death rules that, um, I ordered I want to have my Pokemon for this, uh, that Nuzlocke's tend to have. We'll shock you with our twin power. Um, yeah, update video. New Year's update. Um, I have some things I want to do this coming year, but I don't know if I will be able to, basically. Uh, well, I don't know how best to explain that. But yeah, I, I have some ideas for the year, and that's, you know, uh, best made plans of mice and men and all that. Uh, what is the damage on rapid spin? Um, so, you know, but I'm going to talk about them at least a little bit here. Oh, that sucks. I have stab, water gun, or I can just, know, just bite him. Uh, yeah, I, I want to do other things other than visual novels. I I want to do RPGs, especially older RPGs or RPGs with a very good story that are also you know, older. Um, let's see. Uh, so I, I kind of want to do um, Final Fantasy One. At least start the Final Fantasy series because it is. Oh, yeah. my War Turtle fell in love. Um, yeah. Oh, this one again. This is a problem I was having last time. I was unable to keep a train of thought because I'm a very nervous person. <laughs> um. Yeah, um, Final Fantasy is one of my favorite video game series, so, you know, it might, it would make sense to start it. Um, I can't, you know, guarantee that I will, but that is, as of right now, as of this minute, this recording, it is my intention to record Final Fantasy 1. Um, I have other things in mind as well, other visual novels I'm going to do this year, um, Digital Love Story being one of them, being the, uh, first visual novel I ever actually finished, and one of the first I ever started, um, I guess that does kind of depend, oh, excuse me, sorry, my allergies are bothering the hell out of me, I keep coughing, um, dead. unless you count interactive fiction to be, fucking look at these guys, uh, visual novels, I am in between, but I think it kind of depends, because a lot of them don't have art. Which is my big sticker for uh, a sticking point for visual novel descriptions. Um, so you know, it kind of depends. But Digital Love Story is one of the first that I ever played, and the first I ever completed. Um, I also picked up Analog of Hate Story very recently, um, like last couple of days recently, after you know thinking about it on and off for oh god, years and years and years. 
I, I want to say since I first played Digital uh, a Love Story, I wanted to get Analog a Hate Story, but I'm not going to swear to that. It was probably pretty close, though. Uh, at least close to release of Analog a Hate Story, which depends on when that came out, because I don't know off the top of my head. Um, let's see. Let's see. What else is there? Um, so, yeah, those are two things I'm thinking about doing, because I actually have not finished all of Analog a Hate Story. I've only read one round in its completion, because I mean, and I read that fuck yesterday, I think. Um, yeah, I finished yesterday. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna read the other routes, of course. But, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of really want to play for the, for the channel. Why? 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 Um, I would else, I kind of want to do this. You know, Pokemon Fire Red, but not 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 like this not in this exact way like i'm playing through it right now just a casual playthrough school is fun but so are pokemon um yeah i i have something in mind that i would like to do so if i do it you'll get to see that super nerd leslie wants to battle goofy uh does coffee have levitate in this game hmm i guess we're gonna find out well i'm, I'm not super knowledgeable about pokemon I, again i the last time I played a Pokemon game was when Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were new. Um, God, and the last time I played Fire Red was... Oh man, if I were to guess, I'd probably say 2013? Maybe 2014? Something like that? Yep, it has Levitate. So I guess I'm gonna... 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 Hmm. What am I gonna do? Uh, I don't want to use the pause menu as a hint menu, because that's cheating. Are Poison weak against Psychic, or is it the other way around? You know, Psychic's good anyway, so, you know. Although Angier is lower level. Oh well. We will see. Um. Yeah, what else is there uh, that I want to do this year? Um, I have something I'd like to do for Halloween, but I have a few different ideas about that, so I can't say for sure which one I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm, I'll, I'll keep that to myself for now, I'm gonna save, because I'm paranoid. Um, yeah, I, I, one is a visual novel-esque, um, but, you know, I don't know if it's actually considered generally to be a visual novel. I can't remember, I actually can't. I forgot to read she said. Oh, well, I don't care. Um, uh, let's just poison it, I guess. Ah, oh, let's do his coin at me. Oh, crit, you shit. Um, there's other major games I can't actually think of at the moment. Ah, stop playing a coin at me, you shit. Um, no. Um, I do want to do... Let me try this one more time. I... Fine. I'll do something else. I'll do something else. As you wish, game, as you wish. Um, I, I, I kind of want to do, in general, like the, I guess, more than a year from now. I also kind of want to play, uh, just weird old games and fun little, weird little RPG maker games, especially older ones from like early to mid 2000s. Yeah, Magnitude 9. Um, I can't think of any right offhand, but, you know, those sort of things. And I, in general, when it comes to visual novels, I'm, I'm not super experienced in the medium. I've not finished a ton of them. I have quite a few downloaded, and one of the reasons I started this channel was to uh, um, try to get myself to read more visual novels, and I'm accomplishing that somewhat. But not as much as I was hoping. But still, I'm I have visual novels that I want to do. Like I mentioned, Digital Love Story and Analog a Hate Story. And I have some downloaded and some that I've started that I haven't finished yet, and I might like to play on this channel, some of them I might not. Others that I have downloaded probably wouldn't be the best to play on this channel because of the content. Uh this is just Harvey. I need to level him up too. Um like this me think of the ones that I have downloaded and I'll have to try to go from memory because I don't have it sitting in front of me. Um, 
I have Euphoria, which would not be very good to upload to YouTube because of the uh, suggestive content let's, um, that is, in my understanding, in that game. Or visual novel. Or, I consider visual novels to be games. Whether you do or don't, that's your opinion. And I can see both arguments. I just personally believe... Oh, hell yeah, three hit points. Um, that visual novels are games, so... You yeah, know, take that as you will. Um, you have Euphoria. I have Sayonara the original version, um, with the fan translation, not the more modern. I think it was a Steam release, I believe. I don't have that. I have the original version because I'm weird. And I like to play the original as closely as I can in most things, like uh, like visual novels and video games, I like to try to experience the original version before I play a remake or a remaster. Not always, but sometimes. Because um, I'd like to see how it started, and I have a... I, in real life, I'm a, a big fan of history and, you know, that sort of thing. I read history books here. And I used to, when I listen to more podcasts, listen to a lot of history stuff. Um, my favorite podcast is still Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. Uh, so, I mean, hell, my name is Augustus, named after the fucking first emperor of Rome. Um, I shouldn't switch you out. Uh, so, you know, I, I just have this weird appreciation for old stuff and old tech and old games. And I just like playing the original version at least once. I, I want to go through it at least one time just to have experienced it. Um, even if the newer version is better, it's just a remaster, a re, uh, making it so it's able to be played on modern systems easier, or higher resolutions, and stuff like that. It's just, the charm of the older stuff is, I don't know, it's hard to explain for me anyway, but I, I hope I'm making sense. It's just, it has a charm that I really like. Um, so I have a, so uh, I have Aokana, which I am enjoying a lot of the slice of life stuff and the general in-between stuff, from what I've read, and I have not gotten that far into it. I've not even gotten into the first tournament game. I'm, I, but I have gotten to the first tournament. I don't like flying circus. It is not enjoyable to me. The, the sport seems dumb as hell, and I'm, I'm not a big sports fan in general. Um, I like wrestling. I can watch baseball, though I haven't in years, and I can watch basketball, though I haven't in even. I can watch any kind of sports. I, I watch wrestling regularly. Um, uh, what I want to do with you, I'll just bite you. Um, and that's the only sport I watch regularly, and that's even if you consider wrestling a sport. It's difficult to say. I mean, hell, uh, Wrestle Kingdom's coming up, and I'm going to be watching that. I think it's two days this year, if I recall. Again, this, this year, and I will be watching both. Uh, that's not good for me. So let's just send this back out. Um... So, yeah, I just don't like Flying Circus. I started Kanon, which I'm unsure if I'm going to continue because it's just... Oh. The slice of life stuff is, is enjoyable for the most part. It's just, it is a product of its time. And some of the storytelling, storytelling tropes from that time period are not as enjoyable to me. Um, but I, I will probably end up reading through it very slowly. That and the choice system is a fucking slog. It's multiple days. I think there's like eight or ten days or something like that. With I think the shortest amount of choices on a single day for going to the first route is like five or six. It's absurd. But that is why I picked it up. So I can't. I shouldn't complain too much. But you know, it is what it is. Fuck yeah, sixty-nine defense. Nice. Um, I don't know where I was going with that too much. Anyway, um, I have, like, recently started uh, and got through the one of the bad ends on purpose because I like I'm weird like that. Uh, you and me and her, uh, Totono, or I don't remember the Japanese name. Was it Kimi to Kanoja to Kanoja to K or something? I don't remember. I that's just off of memory. I could be very wrong. Um, and that's you know fun so far. It's weird. That could definitely be something I would play on this channel. Um, and speak, and I've also, I guess, before I go too far into the next topic, even though that would be a good spot to do so, um, I've read Fate Hall, uh, Fate Stay Night, Fate Hollow Atraxia. Fate Stay Night is one of my favorite stories in fiction, period. 
I absolutely adore Fate Stay Night and Fate Hollow Atraxia. I love them very, very much. I've read Tsukihime, of course, as I've almost read through it on this channel. Um, and I have not read Kigetsu Toya, though I, I'm going to at some point just... Stuff happened in real life, and I had to step away from reading anything with too deep of a, uh, a story, um, and I did not get very far into it. Maybe an hour, maybe. Uh, I was going to use Psychic on you, but you just raised your vision. I'll try using Psychic Demon on you anyway. See what happens. Um, so I, I'm going to try to read it again at some point, and after I finish it, I will play it on the channel, absolutely. Um, but I, I don't know, I just, man, I have to get back into the mindset of wanting to read it again. It's gonna, uh, I'm just worried about memories that I don't want, uh, pop my knee pops. Um, I don't want to think about too much at the moment to come back, but I'm, I'm gonna try at some point, of course. Um, uh, God, let's see, I started Kitawa Shoujo, I think I've mentioned that a couple of times. I'm not, fuck yeah, through special attack. Reflect, sure. What is reflect? It's special. Oh, touch damage of physical attacks. That could be useful. I will get rid of teleport. Um. I might regret that later because I never use non-attacking moves for the most part. <laughs> I'm one of those people. Um. Yeah, I don't play competitive Pokemon if that's not already obvious. Um. Hey, buddy, old pal. My bike sucking up, man. I keep forgetting to read their dialogue because I'm too busy rambling. Um, yeah, but and I, I do want to do Fate Stay Night far in the future, really. Um, far in the future. I, I need to build up more courage to be able to do that. Um, because, well, it's a big fucking game. And... There's a lot of stuff going on in it, and it, it is, as I mentioned, one of my favorite stories in fiction. And I just feel bad if I didn't do it as well as I want to, or I feel that it should be done. What does Acid do? Um, 40 point poison move. I'm never going to use Sleep Powder unless I'm catching Pokemon. I use Absorb surprisingly a lot. Although Bullet Seed is just, oh uh, man, let's see, 75, yeah, I'm going to get rid of Sleep Powder. No, no, um, so, yeah, this is a thing, it's, it's going to be in the future, though, like, far in the future, if I am able to get myself and convince myself to do Fate Stay Night, which, again, it is something that I want to do, I just, I need more for myself, um, and I guess into my last topic that I could have segued from uh, you and me and her. Um, the thing that I'm also debating on is whether I want to read through things that have voice acting in it. It's, it's in Japanese, you know, Japanese games. Um, so there's no English dialogue, it's just English text with Japanese voices. And the voice acting is much better than I'm even slightly capable of doing. So I was just kind of wanting... I'm, I'm thinking, and it is ultimately my decision, but... Uh, 69 Special Attack. Nice. Um, it is ultimately my decision, but I do want feedback, if you have any of, the, any of you that actually end up watching this, um, about what you think... Underground Pass, sell it on to Lavender. Uh, um, about stuff like that, how to handle it. Um, I'm wearing guard duty gene person do oh wait the red skulls oh you fuck. Um fuck this guy. Oh you're a you're a trainer. I was about to talk to you, but I didn't know this stuff. Okay. Um I I don't know. I really do want to play stuff like that, like you and me and her would be fun or um, as one of the other mentioned things, Fate Stay Night, though that would, again, be far in the future. Um, yeah, how to, how to handle that, because I'm of two minds, and I've seen both sides of this, and I understand both sides. And one is 
to let the Japanese voices read as normal and just go through it normally, just reading the text out in English as you do in whatever way. But at the same time, I also kind of feel that, um, hmm, maybe it might be better so that, you know, I'm not trying to influence myself or trying to imitate people that are doing a much better job than I am. Um, to disable voices. Oh, right, you have levitate. Right. I'm an idiot. Um, it was to be just to, dis to disable the voices and. Uh, who do I want to get more points? Let's go with you, I guess. I'm just disabling the voices and reading it myself. But I'm, I'm not sure. That's gonna require some thought. I'm gonna throw my coin at him. Um, and if you have any opinions on there, it, any preferences or of that sort, I'd, I'd love to hear it. I'd, I'm so indecisive, so undecided about it that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm all ears. Uh, I think that's everything, so, oh fuck, that hurt. Just bite him, I guess. No. Just bite him again. Um, yeah, I think there's much else I want to talk about? I need to talk about? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I think I mentioned the plans for the, my, my plans for the year, just my general overarching plans, games that I want to do, vision levels I want to do, and the question of thoughts on voices, so that sounds like everything, I think. Um, I'm sure I had more stuff in mind, but I... I, I don't know. I can't remember because I'm scatterbrained and horribly nervous and anxious. Not being that is one of the reasons why I'm typically drinking when I'm recording, and I'm not now. So I'm a very anxious, very anxiety-ridden person. Um, I only have one Pokemon left. Uh, Magnemite has uh, what I want to do. I'm just gonna throw some rocks at it, I guess. I think because I think it has Levitate, but I'm not gonna swear to that. Still not very effective, but it still did a bunch of damage. I'm gonna do it anyway. Just let's let's see. Just think it fucked yeah, Mega Two Nine. Oh, it did. Okay, it doesn't have Levitate in this game, or this specific one might not have Levitate. Who knows? Who knows? But 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 this person is defeated. Oh, meltdown. Um, I picked up money. Yay! I threw my coins at it and I picked some up. Uh, so I'm going to save my progress yeah i'm like nine hours <laughs> yeah I, I tend to leave this game running this is my game that i've been playing when i'm not doing anything or when i'm doing other things rather specifically when i'm doing other things so i can leave it paused and sitting and go up and do other things so this will be sitting for you know 20 or 30 minutes on the pause screen because i'm too dumb to pause the emulator for some reason <laughs> anyway i think I think that's all I need to say, at least all that I can think of. Um, and then, you know, feel free to ask questions, or if you want me to specify something that I said, then I'm fine with that too, or expand upon it, go ahead and ask. I'm, I'll answer. Uh, it might not be a very good answer, because I, uh, interacting with people is hard. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, well, not, I'm not kidding, but still. Um, ask away, I'll, I'll answer as best as I can, and... Uh, a lot of the answers might just be, I don't know, because I don't know. So, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I will see you at, at the very least um, next New Year's, uh, January 1st, 2022, um, for, I think I mentioned I'm going to try to do these yearly, not sure if I did or not, oh well. Um, if there's any other updates in between, then I'll see you there, or if not, then this is being uploaded on Friday, I believe, so I will see you later tonight in episode 20 of Kahaku's Round. So either way, whenever next I see you, I hope you have a nice time, a lovely day, a lovely evening, a lovely afternoon, and, well, I hope you'll join me in whatever adventure is next. <laughs>